Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Tuesday, the 24th of July, 2018. It wasn't a very exciting session once again. We've been pretty flat for the last week. It is summertime, not a lot to be expected. So got to keep everything in perspective. We had some good futures trades early. Stock side was fairly dull. Not much you can do. I mean, you got to be careful. Don't overtrade. The idea here is to make money over the course of a year and not kill yourself when the market's not exciting, and this is that time. Let's go through the major... Indices, here's the ES Frontman Futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market futures form. We've been sitting here for seven days. Crude oil lost literally a penny to 67.88. Gold down 70 cents to 12.24.90. The S&P cash was up five points, but again, that's a blip on that. The NASDAQ 100, which opened down, actually closed up 21.55. Socks up two, which is a blip there and doesn't matter. We've been, this is the middle where we've been like literally all year long since January 1st. Biotech's down a buck. The cup and handle continues to form here. The VIX loses 24 cents to 12.62. The trend closes at 0.84. That puts the 10 day at 1.07. We've got a couple of big numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So two more days and we're going to drop a big number off the, the 10 day moving average. We'll see what that means. NASDAQ volume only 1.6. This is the lightest. So check this out. Except for the day before 4th of July, which was a half day. That's that day, the dot you see below the 1.2 level. Even the 4th of July week had better volume. And this is it. July is when people are still on vacation. August, people go back, kids go back to school, everybody's back. So, you know, we may end up with this scenario. We don't overtrade bad volume in the market, either in stocks or futures. Nobody with a brain does that. So let's just look for good, solid setups. There are not going to be many of them. Be patient. August will be better. NASDAQ volume down. Uh, NASDAQ advanced decline ratio, negative 20, negative 97. So more stocks down than up. Negative 421 on the New York. Google gains 13.12 near all-time highs. And by the way, earnings just came out after the bell. They look positive. Apple closes at 0.1, up 17 cents. Not a big deal. Netflix up 1.61. Doesn't really matter. Note the 13 sell signal there was correct. Amazon down 11.7, but still near all time highs on an $1,800 stock. Tesla loses $10.38. The TLT, the 20 year bond ETF, loses 1.49, which is actually a pretty big move for a 20 year bond. And then uh, Goldman shot up 2.107. It was up higher earlier in the day. Five minute candles on the ES. So here's what we got. Kind of a flat opening. I mean, it was a very small gap. Nah, actually, not really even that. It filled very early. The first two hours were net net in a five point range. It didn't, six, seven point range. It didn't really matter. We rallied right ahead of lunch and then went flat in the afternoon. So there's nothing really to look forward to there. NASDAQ side, no different. This is just summer doldrums continued and the volume's so light. There's really nothing you can say about it. And we honestly shouldn't even try. Don't be ridiculous. Let's hope for better action. Remember, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays are usually the better trading days of the week. This was the first day of a new option cycle, so it is what it is. Hopefully, we get better opportunities here ahead. Uh, I got the housing price index at 9 a.m. Eastern time on Tuesday. Flash and services, flash manufacturing and services PMI numbers at 9:45. Richmond manufacturing index at 10 a.m. Uh, a lot of data points left for the week, including the big number on Friday. That first look at GDP, but that's not going to matter on Tuesday. So we will just trade it as we see it. We're probably not going to come up with much in the charts. And uh, there's nothing else to talk about. Charts, as usual, brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great Trading Tuesday.